Hi guys. So, the old slap chop painting debate. Love it, hate it, or just indifferent to it. I think you can all tell which sort of side I'm on, and that is absolutely loving it. And as you can see, it's enabled me to paint all these lovely chaps for the Warhammer 40k chess set that I wanted to build for years, but just never had the confidence in, well, in painting. So, the Yorks are coming on really nice, and now I'm going to start tackling some of the Space Marines. And I've got this lovely combat patrol box, which as you can see, is absolutely full of the little fellas, which is awesome. So I was sent this box by those... There's a link in the description, guys. Go check them out. Obviously, uh, yeah, as you can see, a whole variety of miniatures from all kinds of factions, games, and all sorts of stuff. Obviously, I'm interested in the Games Workshop ones. Uh, they have given me a discount code called CHECKMATE. If you use that when you buy anything over £30, you get a 5% discount, which is pretty cool. So click on the link below and go check them out. So I've not really done much with uh, Space Marines before. So I was pretty excited to have a go at doing these. As obviously, well, I've got about 16 of these little fellas to make. As they are going to be the other side of the, the chess set. So, Orcs v Space Marines. What could be better? And as well as obviously all the lovely people in here, there's also a tank. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, making something with that. Probably some sort of diorama, I would have thought. As I'm never going to use the tank in any kind of game. Before I get started, I like to make sure I have everything I need to hand. So, obviously, instructions, very helpful. Uh, the sprues, obviously, more helpful. Glue, definitely need some of that. Some good old snippers. And a nice scalpel to hopefully not cut myself with. So, I've got a rough idea of what figures I'm going to use from this box uh, as the replacement for the chess pieces. Uh, I'm going to start with the good old pawns, as these are obviously just the basic sort of space marines. And there's loads in this set, which is awesome. Obviously, I only need the eight. Um, so I'm going to have lots of left over, which is great, because I, I do like doing the odd bit of, uh, well, a bit of kit bashing. And we'll be doing that at some stage. So, usual thing, cut them out from the sprues. Do a bit of tidying up on any of the uh, the mould lines that might be sort of visible. Uh, as well as anything that was um, sort of sticking out when you cut them off the sprues. Sometimes there's bits there. Sometimes if you can try and cut close to the edge, then, yeah, there's very little cutting up to do after. And the other thing we need to do before we can even think about painting these... And that's drill out the barrels. So I've already used sort of like a scalpel to sort of make a bit of an indentation in there. Just so that when I do use my little uh, little screwdriver thingy here, it's got something to sort of like grab hold of and doesn't just slip and slide. Um, but it is a case of persevering. I do this for quite a bit and then I kind of give up and then I stick my little drill bit in a, well, in a big drill. Um, and I have a go at doing that. Obviously, it is better off starting off with uh, the hand drill just so you can make a little bit of a hole before going nuts with the uh, the proper drill. As, yeah, I don't want to sort of drill it into my fingers. It's bad enough cutting them every now and then. Uh, okay, yeah, on to the next bit. Obviously, a bit of gluing. Um, so these, these uh, sets, there's only a few bits to really glue together, which is pretty cool. But it also means then if you want to do any kit bashing with these sets, you really do have to get the scalpel out and cut these up by uh, by quite a bit. But for assembling, assembling them as they are in the instructions, yeah, very simple. Only a few pieces to sort of each model, which is kind of good because obviously it means that I can get these assembled pretty quick. And say obviously there's going to be eight of these for the pawns, and then I've got the uh, the back row of eight to do as well. So some of the um, the pieces from the combat set I will be using for the back row, but there's a few pieces like the king and the queen I will need to buy separately. So he's out all ready to glue down onto my painting holder. Uh, this is something that's 3D printed. Um, I don't... Well, I can't remember the link for this, guys. But if you look on um, Thingiverse, because that's where I got it from, and just put paint holder, I'm sure you'll get a variety come up. Um, and so this one came up. I changed it a little bit, as in the size of it, and put a hole in the bottom um, for some other bits and pieces. And then I glued on a sort of... Uh, uh, what is it? It's a, it's a washer. God, I mean, mine's gone black. Yeah, there's a, a metal washer on the top. Just because then when I paint, put these on, it's easier then to slide them off afterwards. So here we go, slap chop. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to repeat it, but I'm going to repeat it just in case there's anyone new that's found this video and not seen uh, my other videos. So slap chop. Basically, it's a case of priming your, uh, your model in black, dry brushing with some grey, dry brushing with some white, just to obviously catch all the highlights. Um, this does go by a gazillion other names, and I know this is centuries old, and it's probably going to leave, people still going to leave comments down below saying, yeah, I did this 30 years ago, which is awesome. 
I only found this method about two months or just over two months ago now um, and it's made me enjoy painting so much a better painter and yeah I've got a lot of uh, figures that would have been grey that are now painted and being used which is awesome and I do appreciate this technique is quite simple so the results are basic um, but for me they're definitely well make me happy so yeah but the good thing is though with this sort of style it is quick it is easy and if you want to improve on it then you can you can just add some sort of more highlights build up colors and basically do whatever you want to it um, just to make it so you're happy with the end result and that's the main thing with all this painting and hobby a lot of it is in uh, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder so whilst I love this this look that this gives me I know a lot of people will look at this and go yeah no I wouldn't be happy with that and yeah fair enough you crack on you do what you want to do and I'm doing what I want to do and I just love this and I'm really looking forward to the uh, the chess set being complete and now knowing I'm I'm actually enjoying the painting process of everything which is uh, which I say is pretty awesome and as Nathan said in one of my previous videos it's fun to see how quick and easy you can paint these to a happy standard and yeah fully agree uh, it is quick it is easy and I am very happy with this standard as it's something I never could have achieved prior um, I know obviously a lot of the work here is from the contrast paints or in this case the uh, army painter speed paints they obviously are doing most of the work here which is great as it means I can crack on get them done and then enjoy them as I said this is my first space marine I'm painting uh, in the blue I've done a couple of space marines where I've converted them into stormtroopers obviously completely different for a kill team so yeah it's the first one I'm doing in blue and I'm doing the uh, magic blue by speed paint and yeah really pleased with how how it's come out it's uh, seems like the perfect color for the space marine um, and as I say so simple so quick so easy uh, this miniature probably start to finish without the dry brushing bit probably took 15 20 minutes which is really good so I wanted to paint the one first before I paint uh, the whole sort of eight in the pawns um, just to sort of check that I enjoyed and liked how it came out and yeah really pleased with how this one's come out so I am going to now batch paint the other seven um, probably can do that in a live stream and might do that as a video as well just to sort of show how quick and easy it is so obviously painting one um, say about 15 20 minutes but to paint the uh, the other seven um, I'll be able to do each one a lot quicker so obviously part of the, the time on this is you're having to wait for some of the speed paint to actually dry before going on to the next sort of bit but when you're doing a batch uh, batch of painting uh, obviously by the time you've got round all seven by the time you're back to the first one it's fully dried and you can just crack on and keep painting which is pretty cool so that's why I say I'll probably be doing this as a live stream um, maybe sometime next week the other thing I like about this Space Marine there's only a few colors on him um, so obviously I love orcs and I love painting orcs but they do have a lot more going on whereas this guy as you can obviously see uh, main color blue a little bit of black on some of the weapons and straps a um, bit of silver around obviously the uh, the gun nozzles and there's a few little bits of silver actually on him uh, a little bit of gold here and there and yeah that was kind of it although I did have to do a little bit of red at the very end um, some of the hand grenades he's got seem to have a bit of red on them as well as obviously his eyes uh, but yeah that was it very very simple nice to do and yeah really looking forward to getting on and doing the rest of the space marines so here's something I don't normally do on any of my figures and that's the transfers but obviously as these guys do have them on them I thought yeah I'd have a go at doing it so I sprayed this guy first in this um, anti-shine sort of clear matte lacquer stuffy uh, just to seal it just because if you put the transfer on you obviously have to get a little bit wet and I know when you get these uh, models wet it does sort of reactivate the, uh, the speed paint so obviously I didn't want that to happen so yeah gave him a little bit of a spray first and then yeah simply wetting the transfer um, and then dragging it across and then sort of moving it in position and I do end up dabbing it with um, a dry cloth just to obviously uh, well get rid of all the water and yeah I was pretty pleased with how they turned out although they don't seem to sort of bend too well uh, to the shoulder pads so they do sort of crease once they are flattened out a little bit but um, yeah I mean, that's probably just me I'll be able to get better over time 
And then, yeah, he's all ready to be put on a, a clear base. So I get these from Fluid 3D Workshop. Link in the description, guys, to a whole variety of bases there. And as you can see, the one that I've got, I've uh, I put a little magnet in the middle. Just because, obviously, this is going to be magnetised and it will stay on the magnetised board. Okay, that's enough waffling from me. Let's see this slap-chopped Space Marine in all its glory. So I'm really pleased with how he's come out, um, especially for 15, 20 minutes work is just incredible. So yeah, really pleased and can't wait uh, to get his seven mates to join him on the front row of the, uh, the Warhammer 40k chess set. Let me know in the comments guys what you thought of the video, it's always nice to hear your think feelings and thinkings. And if you want to see what I'm currently working on before it comes on YouTube, then why not consider becoming a patron like these guys. It helps support the channel as well. And a big thank you and shout out to my sponsors, Easy Roller Dice and Any Cubic. Okay, guys, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.